watercolor Florida a beach town? Is it a resort? Is it a residential neighborhood? Or is it a nature preserve? Well, yeah, it's all those things. It's also why watercolor is absolutely one of my favorite communities along Florida's famous Scenic Highway 30A. The surreality of watercolor first takes shape as you drive across Western Lake. There's a moment of tangible cognitive decompression that occurs as you cross this expanse as if it's mentally preparing you for days of otherworldly relaxation. Pine trees take priority over palm trees here, which should be no surprise given the region's deep roots in paper production. Today though, pine trees that were once eyed as potential crops are now protected and cherished natural assets. In fact, if you look closely enough, you might notice that many of our local pines line up in perfect rows, just like stalks of corn waiting for a harvest that will never come. In fact, almost 50% of this master planned coastal community has been set aside for preservation. Sprinkled throughout watercolor, you'll find miles of hidden bike and hike trails and countless pocket parks that blend seamlessly into Northwest Florida's natural scrub oaks and palmettos. One of my favorites is Cerulean Park with its babbling canal, live oaks, and manicured floral beds, which can attract butterflies by the thousands. On the north side of Cerulean, by the lake, you'll find Marina Park, which is home to the community's annual signature event, Mountain Film on Tour. It's been a favorite local tradition for 20 years. Nearby, many more miles of walking and biking trails zigzag throughout the adjacent state forest. The resort part of watercolor spans some 500 acres, much of it pinched between the glorious white sand beaches and Western Lake. Together, the gulf, the protected forests, and the tranquil lake provide residents and guests with a unique menu of family and eco-friendly activities, including stand-up paddleboarding, kayaking, fishing, biking, hiking, and every other activity under the Florida sun. As if nature's splendor isn't enough, Watercolor is also home to some really extraordinary man-made amenities, including five world-class clay tennis courts, spa facilities, and Camp Watercolor. Idyllic for families, Camp Watercolor features numerous pools, fountains, a playground, a lazy river, and for the much deserving parents, bar stools strategically positioned for consuming ice cold coastal concoctions while keeping a semi-vigilant eye on the young ones splashing around nearby. When they're not launching families out onto the water, Watercolor Boathouse and Lakehouse double as dreamy event venues, hosting destination weddings, family reunions, and legendary performances during the annual 30A Songwriters Festival. 30A's 19 mile long Timpucci bike trail cuts straight through Watercolor's downtown district where you'll find restaurants, boutiques, a fitness center, and Watercolor Inn, a quaint 60-room beachfront resort designed by David Rockwell. Watercolor Inn is routinely hailed as the number one family-friendly resort in North America. Right next door is Watercolor's stunning beach club complex, complete with beach bars, food counters, and cabanas, designed across three spectacular gulf front pool decks. Every morning at sunrise, just as soon as the local turtle patrol gives the all clear, Brad McDowell and his watercolorful crew prepare for guests seeking some much needed beach therapy. What's up, Mike? How How's, How's it going? going? Good, man. Well, this doesn't suck. I know, not a bad Jeez, office. This is, is your office? This is it, 20 years of playing on the beach, working on the beach, whatever you want to call it. But mom and dad work around the clock to you know afford a vacation to Destin sure. so as a Memphis boy we'd mark it on our calendar once a year and that was kind of the highlight of 
how fast can we get back to the beach. I know how those people feel, to work year round, to finally get away from work. And this is their memories, this is their fun time. So even to this day, you know, that's what I've, that's what gets me going. That's what wakes me up, gets me motivated. It's my responsibility to show them the best time I work here. And I'm blessed to work here in the same kind of conversation of a lot of people that live in South Wall. It's because of that, you know, I looked at my wife the other day, I said, you know, I'm going into town to Lowe's and she looks at me like, are we a horse and buggy? Like, and I said, well, I don't ever go into Destin. <laughs> We're blessed to be our neighbors right here at the state park. And if you look at watercolor on a map, we are 499 acres worth of residents, but we're surrounded by state parks. Yeah, so our day kind of consists of, we get here about 545, my guys. We uh, check how many reservations we have previous, the day before, so we know how many is set up. Uh, what's fun, right over this hill, that's where the deer come out and kind of remind us each day that this is their beach. We just kind of get to visit it, even if we work here. So after the deer clear us, the turtle clear us, and we can go to work, then we start drilling our holes, put the umbrellas, chairs out. It takes about an hour and a half, two hours to set up. Then after that, all day long, all we do is, you know, basically cater to our guests. We're like beach butlers. We carry their coolers, we open their umbrellas, we put their footrest out. They ask us 100,000 questions on where to eat, where to go, you know, which is great, but that's part of our job. And I think that's what's cool is, I don't really know anybody that lives here that's not passionate about where they live. They love it, that's why we're here. So, really neat. After a long carefree day on the beach, it's something of a tradition to hose the sugar white sand off the family feet and retire to the sunset deck at Watercolor's iconic fish out of water restaurant now known as food. The fresh Gulf seafood here is sublime. The craft cocktails are even better. And the view? Well, I guess you can see for yourself. <laughs>